What's up everyone and welcome to our League of Legends Top 5 Plays for a pretty lengthy episode full of sick out plays. We have a HyperX Cloud 2 headset to give away at the end so I hope you sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. Let's start things off with a short high-low lease in play and to set the scene as teams getting run down mid, dying off left and right. The enemy team is healthy enough to get Baron after they finish Callisto, but he's in a position for a desperate flank. He war jump kicks Jackson to all three, using the Q to get in as an E comes down combined with Callisto's Hurricane for the instant cleanup, getting the four kills in mid tier 3. Let's take another look at that quick war jump to align the kick and allow the turnaround ace to happen. Coming up next at our number 4 spot, we have B4TB on Thresh with a few godly hooks in a row to change the course of this game. They're currently in a major goal deficit, but the enemy team are greedy pushing the tower when he lands a hook on Nidalee and MF ults, getting them two kills and some momentum as they chase. Red Team see this as a chance to regain some ground and take their blue and dragon buffs, but keep your eye on Nami. She enters the fog of war, but Thresh predicts her movements, flash hooking blindly over the wall, tossing the Lancer back to pull Renekton in for a free kill. Blue Team continues to retreat, but Thresh holds his positioning in the fog of war, finding another fantastic hook from over the wall on the fed Graves, forcing his flash and heal. With the flay eventually coming back up, Graves knows he has to try and fight this out, but it's no use as they all collapse on him for their fourth kill. This play is one of those huge momentum swings because they also get a dragon on top of all the kills, but let's see it again from Thresh's point of view because this setup was so sick. It was nice when they got the double kill by their base, but these two back-to-back -back kills into a dragon definitely helped spark that comeback. Supports are amazing playmakers, and as we head into our next play, we have Shen and his teammates with their backs against the wall, pulling off a clutch base defense. All five members of the enemy team are marching down mid lane with Baron Buff, looking to close out this game, and without a Nivea or Lucian's wave clear, this should be GG. They move in for the tower, but then Shen gets hooked, using the gap close for a three-man taunt as Lee Sin comes flying in, kick flashing for the triple knockup, chain with Jax's flash counter strike. Immediately, the playing field is even, and it's down to a 3v3, Shen ulting to give Jax a shield to keep fighting, and his dying wish is a double taunt before letting the bruisers run away with it. As they start chasing, take a peek at the minimap because the enemy base is being pressured by a massive creep wave and the friendly Anivia has teleport for when she responds. Ezreal gets clobbered, followed by a long chase down mid for the robot, but Anivia is about to respond to cut him off with teleport and they can easily take the win within the death timers. Coming in at second place, we have Colin Lenane with a master tier Riven play, showcasing some sick mechanics and outplays. She's not fed at all and not really too overextended, but the enemy team show up squad deep and she realizes running to the tower can't happen and decides to book it up the lane. She gets behind her creep to deny the hook for now, juking out Sonic Wave as we speed it up and they chase her straight up the lane, slowly closing the gap with Blitzcrank's Moby Boots. Blitzcrank wants to get the knockup before hooking, but a sick WE slides her to the side, followed by a nice sidestep. Let's see that again real quick because that was a sexy dodge on the Sonic Wave and the moment she breaks line of sight, she moves down, avoiding the hook. Lee Sin continues to chase, but Riven's teammates just took the mid tower, so the enemy team go to defend the tier 2, leaving Lee Sin singled out, so she wants to turn. He goes in, but she pops her all animation canceling for max DPS to force the kick, and now she rejoins her teammates and they start to turn on Maokai, but on the minimap, we see the enemy blitz on the way. They have the tree singled out, so she dashes forward, queuing to close the gap, but then all of a sudden, Maokai turns alongside Lee Sin and they burst in Nivea, but Graves gets back a kill, making it a 2v2. The enemy team don't really have the damage to fight this, so Maokai eventually gets run down, and then all that's left is Blitzcrank, which is another easy kill. What an epic chase and turnaround, pretty much played perfectly by Riven and Blue Team. Anyone else want to get outplayed? Nope, no one else. And for number one pro play for this week, we have another beastly support play, but this time Sweetums24 and Bard kind of just carries the whole map in a sick support spree. Although the quality isn't as high because it was submitted already recorded, it's awesome seeing this from his point of view. Just a quick mention, this Bard is 45% CDR, so let the frustration commence. He's 6-3 and 8 to start this play, but quickly finds a kill on Heimer, going through the wall to slow Triss with an auto, which forces the Buster shot so she can get away. He wants to keep going, but Triss Rocket jumps away, and the enemy Nasus teleports in, but a great tempered fate freezes him in place as Bard books it away, Trindamir joining the chase. Bard cues for the stun, moving into position to angle the magical journey, and right as Nasus is about to get through, he lands the stun, picking up the chime and W's for the speed up. Nasus pops ghost, but another Q gets fired off, this time stunning both, but he's so slow the mocking shout keeps him right on his tail as he goes through the next wall. Thank Thanks to the CDR, Cosmic Binding is up again for another timely double stun, but then casts it and turns to kill the enemy Triss, but Bard is to keep running from the doge. After some auto attacking to wait out the wither, Bard decides to take another magical journey, but this time across the back of red buff, but somehow Nasus has a bad trip and doesn't quite make it, but either way, Bard still had his queue up. 
He picks up another chime while speeding himself up and manages to enter the journey right as it fades away. Bard loops around to join his Garen in fighting Nasus, and thanks to the constant slow from Garen's red buff and his speed up from Bard, he slowly starts getting chipped away. Spooky ghosts go out as Sweetums aligns to stun, but because he's the lowest health and the obvious target, the second Yasuo shows up, he dips out with the portal to the other side. He does what he can from a safe distance, but it's obvious that Yasuo wants to try and burn Garen, so he gives another burst of speed with his W before backing off. Garen's absolutely wrecking Yasuo until he gets stunned, but here comes a beautiful temper fade, hitting both of them on the edge and setting up a devastating Q to make Bard godlike. As it began with Heimer dying, and ends with Heimer dying as well, netting two kills and three assists for Bard in a little less than a minute and a half. And for a bonus clip of the week, we're doing something a little different because we just so happen to have two short but awesome Janna plays that I wanted to feature, so why not both? The first one involves an OP monsoon that forces some nasty creep block, and the second is actually a high elo play, so keep a close eye out for her monsoon and clutch tornado. As promised in the beginning, we have a HyperX Cloud 2 headset to give away to a lucky fan, and to enter, you just have to visit the description box where you'll find the giveaway link. Once you click it, it'll take about a minute to enter, and it'll give you some options like following us on Twitter or liking our Facebook page, but everything is optional, so you can pick and choose Choose whatever you want. Good news is if you already follow us on social media, then it requires literally nothing for you to enter the giveaway, so definitely check that out because these headsets are sick. I've tried so many headsets over the years between many sponsors and companies sending us free ones to trial. Hands down, the Cloud 2 is the best bang for buck you'll find and probably amongst the highest quality as well. You can go on Amazon and check out a bunch of reviews or just look around the scene. It's no secret that their products are really well built, so I'd highly recommend one if you're in the market for a new headset. Right now, they're 35% off the normal price, so if you're curious about buying one, then take a look at the link right below the giveaway link to take you directly there. Buying a headset through that link also benefits us greatly, so thanks to everyone who checks out all that stuff, it's greatly appreciated. Thanks everyone for sticking with me through this super long episode of our Top 5 Plays. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and until next time, good luck with the new season, and I wish you the best of luck.